illegal migrants impact millions of people in the U.S. and the American Migraine Foundation says it's the third most common disease in the world. Now a new study found people who suffer from migraines might be able to predict when one is coming hours before symptoms even start. TV 5's Colette Boyd has the details. A migraine is sometimes misunderstood as a bad headache. It's probably one of the most common uh, conditions uh, that we see in, in practice. But doctors say it's a neurological disease impacting about 39 million people in the U.S. It occurs in about uh, 16 to 18 percent of women and about 5 percent of men. Overall, it's about 12 percent of the entire, entire population. So it's about one in eight people overall. Migraines typically last anywhere from 4 to 72 hours, causing moderate to severe pain. Usually the pain is on one side, but occasionally it can be two-sided. And uh, they get a variety of different symptoms such as nausea and vomiting and sometimes sensitivity to light and noise as well. A new study from the American Academy of Neurology found circadian rhythms play a huge role in migraines. Study participants who experienced poor sleep quality and low energy had a higher chance of a migraine the next morning. For people who had higher energy and higher stress levels, a migraine also typically followed the next day, but in the afternoon or evening. Doctors say recognizing triggers means a migraine could even be predicted and prevented with medication before it even starts. We use some of the ones that stay in the body a little bit longer shortly before a trigger and during the trigger, and it, sometimes that can kind of ward it off. I'm Colette Boyd reporting. Along with sleep, energy level, and stress, other common migraine triggers include hormones, certain smells or foods, and even our weather changes. TV5 